The Cape to Rio yacht race is in complete tatters. This just a day after setting sail. Let's find out what the story is. On the line, I'm joined by Captain Ravi Naika from the South African Maritime Safety Authority. Captain, good morning to you. Thank you very much for taking time to talk to us. First of all, we understand one crewman uh, has been killed. Uh, are you able to give us details on what crew this member was part of and perhaps uh, any information on that particular incident? Yes, the Cape to Rio yacht race started on Saturday and it's normally a 14, between 14 to 28 day passage across to, to Rio. There were some 36 yachts that were involved uh, in, the, in the race, that started the race. The injured, or the, the one deceased uh, yachtsman was from the yacht called Bile. It was an Angolan, uh, an Angolan yacht. Uh, they come into some adverse weather conditions on Sunday, on early Sunday morning, early hours of Sunday morning. Mm. And I think uh, this gentleman was, uh, this yachtsman was washed overboard, but he was recovered. Uh, on the same yard, actually, there were three other crew men that were injured. At this stage, the deceased, as well as the crew men, seven of them from the yacht delay, mm. is on board the SA Naval Frigate uh, Isan Lawana, and she is currently on her way back to Cape Town. At this stage, we are having difficulty raising the uh, SA Frigate, but the ETA is expected sometime today. Captain, we understand one yacht is still missing today. Is that the case? And what do we know about this missing vessel? No, at this stage, uh, the yacht that is missing is not related to the, uh, to the yacht race. It's, it's known as the, it's called the Ida 62. She's some 216 miles. That's the position that we received. Uh, uh, that's, that's been lost, and that's the one we're continuing to search with. But mm. with regard to the Cape to Rio yacht race, there were five yachts involved, and all of them we know the whereabouts at this stage. When it comes to the South African yachts, uh, Captain, perhaps we can talk about those six yachts. I understand South Africans uh, involved in this particular event. How many of them have returned safely uh, back to port? What's their status? There's some uh, 27 South African yachts that uh, participated in the race or still got going. Um, at this stage, we have confirmed that the PK and Avante, two yachts have returned and they're safely back in Saldana Bay. And last, ni and last night we had a yacht called the Black Cat. She arrived around about 20 hundred and she was brought back by the NSRI. So my math then says there's still 24 yachts from South Africa out. Is that correct? That is correct. Uh, at this stage, uh, the weather conditions for sailing is not uh, uh, significantly bad. Mm. However, we have not received any reports or any distress messages from the other yacht, so we assume everything is in, in, in order and they're sailing to Rio. As far as their journey is concerned now, if those other yachts were forced to turn back, roughly guessing where they are now, what port would they have to go to if they were forced back to port because of weather? They have, an, they have an option of either using Saldana Bay or Cape Town, but in, for logistics purposes, most of them will head back to Cape Town. And we are talking about the weather, of course, Captain. Tell me about the weather in Cape Town and the, what could affect the race uh, and their journey. Are you seeing any more concerning weather? Not at this stage. I think the cold front is passing, so we, it looks all, it's all looking good for now. Do you think when it came to the start of this race, someone who, as yourself, would know the sea conditions, the weather conditions terribly well, should the Cape to Rio race have gotten underway knowing that these weather conditions might cause problems and even, sadly, a death? Do you think it should have been delayed for a few days? You know, it, I think it comes down to perhaps the, the, the type of yacht that is being used as well as the experience uh, of, the, of the yachtsmen on board. Uh, at the end of the day, it's a personal responsibility. Yachts do require strong wind conditions in order to make their journey, and uh, it may have come down to lack of pro uh, proper uh, passage planning All right, in, order sure. to avoid, in order to avoid the France in this case. Captain, thank you very much indeed. My apologies for interrupting. Captain uh, Ravi Naika from the South African Maritime Safety Authority giving me a lot of information. Let me just quickly recap for you. 27 South African yachts in total taking part. 24 have so far returned to port. Uh, sorry, three of them have returned to port. 24 still out on the course. Uh, for the moment, they, none of them have declared any distress signals, so the race for them is continuing. The one death uh, reported in the Cape to Rio yacht race was... Uh, an Angola yacht, a man was washed overboard. The yacht was known as Belair. So that is where the death has taken place in the Cape to Rio. We are going to stay on top of the story uh, and make sure we bring you the very latest uh, as soon as we can. Know more about your world. ENCA.com.